y'all. This is CJ UFC Picks back with another one. We're doing a quick pick video for UFC 307 Pereira versus Roundtree. And also, we have Pennington versus Pena. This is going to be a very good card. UFC 307 going down this Saturday, Salt Lake City, Utah. And someone is getting knocked out. I can promise you that, folks. So let's go over it real quick. First fight of the night. It is in the prelim. Tim Means. He is 33 and 16. Minus 230 favorite. 40 years old. Going against Kurt McGee. 21 and 13. 39 years old. A plus 190 underdog. And I think this fight is going to be closer than the number says. I mean, you got Tim Means. 40, almost 41 years old, losing the last four out of his five fights. And then Court McGee, he's 39, almost 40 years old. And he, he's lost the, three, the last three out of his five fights. So I think this fight is going to be closer than the number says. If Court McGee can get the wrestling going, I think he's going to win. And I think he's going to get the victory here. I think he's going to bounce back from the three loss losing skid. And he's going to win this fight. Next fight. Scheduled to be in the men's light heavyweight division. This is going to be the sloppiest fight of the card. We have Ovid St. Pru versus Ryan Spann. Ovid St. Pru, he is 27-17. and 17. He's a plus 265 underdog. And he's almost 42 years old, folks. Going against Ryan Superman Spann. 21 and 10, minus 340 favorite, 33 years old. But he's on a three fight losing streak, which is no good. He's unpredictable, but I can't bet against Ryan Spade on this spot. I think he's going to get the knockout here. I think he's going to bounce back from that three fight losing skid and get a knockout in this match, in this fight. Next fight, ladies and gentlemen, we have. Carla Esparza going against Tisha Pennington. Carla Esparza, 19 and 7, plus 150 underdog, 36 years old. Going against Tisha Pennington, 13 and 7, 35 years old. I know that Carla Esparza has been out for a little while, but look her, look who her opponent is in this fight. Tisha Pennington. I mean, Tisha Pennington is not bad, but I don't think she's on Carla Esparza's level. Carla Esparza is a former champion. Let's not forget that. I don't care how boring that fight was. I don't care what happened in that fight when she became champion. But she was a champion. And I think she's going to win this fight. Carlos Barza is my pick to win by decision. Next fight, guys, is in the men's featherweight division. Or lightweight, lightweight division. Sorry about that. Alexander Hernandez going against... Austin Hubbard, Alexander Hernandez, he is 14 and 8, 32 years old, no line on him. Austin Hubbard, he is 16 and 7, 32 years old. And I think this is going to be a close fight. Either, either one of these guys can win this fight. Both of them have sneaky KO power. Alexander Hernandez, though, does have questionable cardio. And, um... I think he's fought the tougher competition in the UFC, in my opinion. He's a higher-ranked opponent, number 65 in the world versus number 91. So this is a step up for Austin Hubbard. I think Alexander Hernandez is going to win this fight. I know he's a wishy-washy fighter, and he's lost the last four of his five fights. So that's not a good look, but I think he can bounce back in this spot and win this fight. Possibly by knockout, maybe. I don't know. Might go to a decision. Over 2.5. Next fight, guys. Scheduled in the men's middleweight division. We have Ihor Poteria versus Caesar Almeida. Ihor Poteria, 21 and 6, plus 310 underdog, 28 years old. Caesar Almeida, he is 5 and 1, minus 400 favorite. 36 years old. Cesar Armada started MMA pretty late in his career. He's only had six fights in his career. And he's a minus 400 favorite going against somebody who's very experienced in MMA. 
Iho Pateria, but Iho Pateria has no chin and he's very untrustworthy. We know that Caesar Armada can be dangerous. He can knock, he can knock you out. He can submit you, and I think he can win this fight. And that's my pick. Next fight, guys, scheduled to be in the women's strawweight division. We have Marina Rodriguez, seventeen and four, plus one forty five underdog, thirty seven years old, going against Eastman Lucindo, sixteen and five, three fight winning streak, minus one seventy five favorite, and she's twenty two years old. Marina Rodriguez is the more experienced fighter. She has fought the tougher competition, and she is a higher-ranked fighter. So this is going to be a huge step up for Yzma Lucindo. But Yzma Lucindo is on a three-fight winning streak, which is pretty impressive. And that line, I think, is a little too wide, though, because Marina Rodriguez ain't no joke. Even though she's lost the three the last three out of the five fights, she ain't no joke. She's been in there with the best of them. And I think she can win this fight. I really do think that she can win this fight. She can make this really gritty, dirty, and nasty fight. And I think she's going to win by a decision. Next fight, guys, is the featured prelim fight for UFC 307. We have Steven Wonderboy Thompson, 17-7, and 7, plus 160 underdog, 41, almost 42 years old. That's crazy. Going against Joaquin Buckley, 19-6. Four fight winning streak, one minus 190 favorite, not a bad line, and he's 30 years old. I like Steven Wonderboy Thompson. He's a great fighter. He's been in there with the best of them. He's been in championship fights. He's been in five round fights. He's, he's one of the greatest in this division. But he's almost 42 years old, guys, so he's going to be slower. He's going to react slower, and Joaquin Buckley is a wild man. He's on a four-fight winning streak. And ever since he went down to welterweight, he's been doing very, very good. And that's why he's my pick to continue that winning streak and get a win over Steven Wonderboy Thompson. Next fight, guys, is scheduled to be in the men's <coughs> oh, excuse me, middleweight division. We have Roman Delice going against Kevin Holland. Roman Delice, 13 and 3, plus 145 underdog, 36 years old. Kevin Holland, 26 and 11, minus 170 favorite, 31 years old. This is going to be a close fight. Roman Delice, world championship grappler, if you guys didn't know. Kevin Holland, very tough fighter, has knockout power, good range, but he's he's got a little bit questionable fight IQ at times. And he can get into brawls, which I don't like. Roman Delice, if he can get the wrestling going in this fight and get the takedowns, I think he can win this fight. I got him at plus 140 underdog, which I think is a great line. And I think he can win this fight. And he's my dog of the card for UFC 307. Next fight is plain and simple, folks. We have <coughs> um, Caitlin. Kayla Harrison versus Ketlin Vieira. Kayla Harrison is pretty much going to win this fight. Gold medalist, two fight winning streak. She dominated her last two opponents. Going against Caitlin Vieira, plus 550 underdog. I don't mind, I don't blame anyone for taking the dog shot here, but I don't think she's going to win, folks, so don't waste your money. There's a reason why Kayla Harrison is a minus eight. Hundred favorite, and I think she's the biggest favorite on this card. And for a female fight, that's pretty damn crazy. But I think she's gonna win. I think she's gonna dominate, and I think she's gonna get the finish. Next fight, guys, is gonna be a close battle, a close fight. I was going back and forth on this fight, and I still am. We got Jose or Jose Aldo going against Mario Bautista. Jose Aldo, 32-8, and eight, winning the last four of his five fights. He's 38 years old, and he's a plus-145 underdog. I don't blame anyone for picking Jose Aldo. Mario Batista, he's on a really good winning streak right now. Minus-175 favorite, and he's 31 years old. This is going to be a very close fight. This is going to be a war. I'm still going back and forth on this fight. 
So I don't mind. I don't blame anyone for taking either fighter. My pick in this fight is Mara Batista to continue his winning streak. Even though I love Jose Aldo, I just think that Mara Batista has a little bit of an edge. And he's going to be better in this fight. He's going to have better moments. But if Jose Aldo wins this fight, I wouldn't be shocked. Because the guy still got it. He's still a contender. And he's probably going to give Mara Batista a run for his money. Next fight, guys. This is the co-main event of the evening for the UFC Bantamweight Championship. Women's Bantamweight Championship. And it's going to be the woman Bantamweight Champion Raquel Rocky Pennington. 16-8. and eight, Impressive winning streak. Minus 185 favorite. 36 years old. Going against Juliana Pena. 10-5. and five, Plus 150 underdog. And she's 35 years old. This is going to be a war as well in terms of women's fights. I can see blood in this fight. Or this can be a very boring fight. But I like both of these girls. These girls both go at it. They both give a run for your money. And they will try to get the finish. But I'm going with Rocky Raquel Pennington to win. I think she's a much better polished fighter than Juliana Pena. Because Juliana Pena can get wild at times. And she always tries to get into into wars. So I like Raquel Pennington in this spot. Let me get her to win. And then we got the main event of the evening. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, share the video, comment on the video. CJ UFC picks. We're back at it. We have Alex Pajeda Poatan going against Khalil Roundtree for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship. Four fight winning streak for Alex Pajeda. He's a minus 455 favorite. 37 years old. Going against Khalil Rontree. He's on a great winning streak as well. He's a plus 350 underdog. I don't blame anyone for taking a shot on Khalil Rontree. Because he's a powerful motherfucker. He can knock anyone out in this division. Including Alex Pajeda. But I don't see that happening here. Because Alex Pajeda is a monster. That left hook is no joke. And that will put anyone away in any division in my opinion. Alex Pajeda is going to win this fight. And still by knockout. So those were the picks. And that was the full breakdown for UFC 307. We'll be back for next time. And hopefully Gibbs can join us. If not, we're still going to continue the show, folks. So make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment on the video. And we're out of here. Thank you.